In today's age of Internet of Things, data privacy has become the major concern aside cyber insecurity for most cyber users. And as a result, many internet service providers market their services and products with emphasis on providing absolute data privacy for their customers. And we do not sell data to advertisers. Well, we don't you, sell you data to clearly anybody. rented. Um, we go to great lengths to protect their privacy and we give them transparency, choice and control. If our customer was our product, we could make a ton of money. We've elected not to do that. But in actual fact, most internet service providers rather make money by either selling or sharing their users' data to government agencies or to other third-party companies. But as your trusted, knowledgeable, certified and experienced cyber commander, I am bound to provide you with the best guidelines and measures to enforce and as well as to protect your data privacy. The first guideline to enforcing and protecting your data privacy is by always reading the data privacy policy or the terms and conditions of a service or cyber device you seek to patronize or use. Taking time to purview a data privacy policy and not being hasty to sign up for a digital services or to quickly tick the box of I agree to the terms and conditions of the software or the services you want to patronize will inform you whether or not the services or cyber device you seek to use will gather your data for sharing or selling to a third party. This will influence your decision to either go ahead to patronize the services or the cyber device. A data privacy policy also serves as a commitment by the service provider to a user. But to a user, it serves as a point of reference to sue the service provider in case of your data leakage, sharing or selling to a third party. For this reason, I advise you to always make and save a copy of the data privacy policy since most of the service providers periodically update their data privacy policies. For better understanding of data privacy policies of commonly used service providers such as Amazon, Yahoo, Netflix, CNN, Microsoft, social media platforms, Google, YouTube, just to mention a few, visit www.tosdr.org. The second guideline to protecting and enforcing your data privacy is by taking absolute control over the type of data a service provider or a cyber device have access to. This can be attained by manually either declining or allowing access permissions from a service provider, software, or a cyber device to your data. Most internet service providers, softwares, and cyber devices require a manual permission in order to access user data such as pictures, audio files, videos, messages, camera, and the microphone of a device. This puts users in control of the type of data a service provider or a cyber device can have access to. Some service providers also illegally access user data without a user's access permission. For that reason, I advise you to periodically review all your data access permission list in order to revoke any unapproved access to your data by a software, service provider, or by a cyber device. It's important to note that some internet service providers, softwares, and cyber devices legally acquire data without their user's manual approval on the basis of their users patronizing their services. A perfect example of such an internet service provider is a telecommunication company. In such an instance, you can decide not to patronize such a service provider. But if you decide to patronize such a service provider, I advise you to be very careful with the type of data you share with such a service provider. The third data privacy enforcement or protection mechanism to have in place is encryption. As I stated earlier, some internet service providers, softwares and cyber devices with or without a user's access permission still gathers user data. So, encrypting your digital data with a robust and comprehensive data encryption software will serve as an extra security layer for the protection and enforcement of your data privacy and as well as protect you from cyber attacks such as ransomware and data theft. For a customized, robust and comprehensive data encryption software, leave me a comment below or contact me on Twitter at CDR underscore IM. The fourth countermeasure to enforcing your data privacy is to avoid uploading confidential digital data online. This is because 
uploading your user data online is an acknowledgement and an act of granting permission to an internet service provider for your digital data to be used by the internet service provider. So, before uploading your digital data online, make sure you have read and understand the data privacy policy of the internet service provider you are uploading your digital data to. The last data privacy enforcement and protection control measure to have in place is the securing of digital storage devices from unauthorized persons. Data privacy are not only violated by service providers, softwares, and cyber devices, but is equally violated by individual cyber adversaries who make copies of digital data stored on a data storage drive such as pen drives, hard drives, compact disk, mobile phones, and a solid state storage drive. The following are measures for the protection of digital storage devices from unauthorized persons and copying of digital data. The first is to never sell or give out your used data storage device to another person for usage, even after formatting. This is because data deleted or formatted from a digital storage device can easily be recovered. The second is to always replace your used data storage device, such as a hard drive or a solid state drive of your old laptop or desktop computer with a new or unused data storage device before selling or issuing it out to another person for usage. The last is to properly dispose of all data storage devices by drilling through it multiple times before burning or disposing it off. Do well to hit on the notification button in order to be notified anytime I upload a new video.